Hi students, I am Pramit Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing how to convert a decimal fractional number into a binary fractional number. So, for example, let us consider a number 6.125 to the base 10. So, we have to convert the decimal number 6.125 into its binary equivalent. So, when we are considering a fractional number, we can see two portions they are the whole number portion as well as a fractional portion so this whole number portion and fractional portions are separated by a decimal a decimal point so in a fractional number we can see two portions they are whole number portion and fractional portion so when we are converting a decimal fractional number into its binary equivalents we have to consider this whole number portion as one portion and fractional portion conversion as another portion so these two conversions are entirely different so when converting the whole number portion let us consider the whole number portion the whole number portion is 6 so continuously divide the whole number portion 6 with the base of the binary number. So the base of the binary number is 2. So divide continuously the number 6 by 2 until the portion will become 1. So when we divide 6 by 2, we will get 3 with the remainder 0. Okay. So when we are dividing 3 by 2, so 3 by 2 will be 1 with the remainder 1. So the binary equivalent of 6 is 1, 1, 0. So we can write it as 1, 1, 0, point. So in the second conversion, that is the fractional or decimal fractional conversion, what we have to do is consider the fractional portion. The fractional portion is 0 0.125. So what we have to do is multiply this fractional portion regularly with the binary base value so the binary base value is 2 or the radix value is 2 so multiply the fractional portion with 2 so when we multiply 0 0.125 with 2 we will get 0 0.250 so here we get the answer 0 0.250 in this again we can see a whole number portion as well as a fractional portion this whole number portion can be considered to the answer portion and the rest of the portion the rest is 0 0.250 the rest should be multiplied again with the 2 by multiplying 250 with 2 we will get the answer as 0 0.500 so take the all number portion as the answer portion and the rest of the portion the rest is 0 0.500 should be multiplied again by 2 okay so when we are multiplying 0 0.500 with 2 we will get 1.000 so the all number portion is 1 that 1 is taken to the answer portion and the remaining portion here is 0 so when we multiply the 0 0.000 into 2, we will get the answer as 0. The answer is taken in this order. The order is 0, 0, 1 to the base 2. So the decimal number 6.125 can be represented in binary number as 110.001. Dear students, let us consider another example. Another example is convert 18.2, the decimal number 18.2 into binary number. Here we can see two portions. The whole number portion is 18 and fractional portion is 0 0.2. So converting 18 into binary, what we have to do is divide continuously the whole number portion by the base value 2. So 18 is divided by 2, the result will be 9 with the reminder 0. When 9 is divided by 2, we will get 4 with the reminder 1. When 4 is divided by 2, we will get 2 with the reminder 0. When 2 is divided by 2, we will get 1 with the reminder 0. So the decimal number 18 can be represented in binary as 
1010010. So writing as 10010 point. Here the fractional part is 0 0.2. So what we have to do is multiply this 0 0.2 with the base value 2. So 0 0.2 into 2 will result in 0 0.4. So taking the whole number portion as the answer and the remaining portion will be multiplied again with the base value 2. We will get the answer as 0 0.8. We are considering the whole number portion is the answer for and the rest portion 0 0.8 will be multiplied mm -hmm. by 2. When we are multiplying 0 0.8 with 2, we will get mm -hmm. 1.6. So consider 1 as the answer portion and the rest and the, when we are taking 1 as the answer, the rest or the remaining portion will be 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 multiplied by 2 with a results in 1.2 so we are considering this one all number portion one into the answer part and the rest rest is 0 0.2 so my dear students let us look into this 0 0.2 so at this point we can conclude that if we are multiplying 0 0.2 with 2 the answer will be 0 0.4 that 0 0.4 into 2 will result in 0 0.8 so these four steps will be repeating or recurring into a numerous amount of time so if we reach a such repetition steps we can stop over there and the final answer will be taken in the upper order so the answer will be 0 0 1 1 to the base 2 so this is how we are converting a decimal fractional number into its binary equivalents. So my dear students, I hope that you have understood this topic of converting a decimal fractional number into its binary equivalents. So dear students, kindly go through this assignment questions. So the assignment questions are convert 51.125 into its binary equivalent. 39.13 into its binary equivalent and 4.25 into its binary equivalent. So dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss about how to convert a binary number into a decimal number. See you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.